Football means a lot to me. It's my, my safe place. It's my outlet. I wouldn't want to be a part of anything else. One of the most improved players in the competition, Anne Hatchard. The physicality is just crazy. I, I thrive on it. I love it. Hatchard, strong tackle. Wrapped up in a very ominous Hatchard tackle. And everyone cheering. It's just amazing. Keeps her feet. Round the body goes Anne Hatchard for a super first goal of the game. Oh, well, I have four daughters, so I just wanted them all to be happy and find whatever that was for them. I probably wouldn't have thought about football being a pathway for girls. So I didn't take the traditional pathway of starting with NAB AFL, Oz Kick. I was always a basketball girl, so grew up playing basketball, watching basketball. There was actually one time one of my friends asked me to go to a footy game, and I'm like, what do you mean, go to the footy? Football came on the radar actually when one of my basketball coaches in my junior years, she said, once you turn 16, come give it a go because that's how old you needed to be to play in the women's league. So as soon as I turned 16, I went out to a training with my mum, given a few bumps, a few tackles. It was something I hadn't really experienced before. The NAB Under 18s championships were just awesome. You know, it was my first big exposure to going out and playing footy with some girls with some talent. It was kind of scary because I was kind of out of my element, but I was just super happy to be a part of it. Welcome to the inaugural NAB AFL Women's Draft. I didn't expect to be anywhere near the top, but I just wanted to be the best I, I could be and to prove people that I should be there. I remember it was just live stream. I was watching it on my phone. They were going through the names and then pick 87. And Hatchard came up and I was just I was just overwhelmed with emotion. I was so excited and proud of her. And you know, when she pushes herself and she wants to achieve something, she usually gets there. Being part of a fresh competition with so many unknowns, it's a bit scary um, with people, all their judgments about it, but coming away with a premiership as well, it's just yeah, an amazing feeling. After the 2018 season, the challenge I, I faced was um, having a few confidence issues. I get a lot of anxiety going into games because I expected so much of myself. I was a bit overweight. I wasn't as fit as I should have been. I loved fast food, hated salad, would be going through the drive throughs on the way to footy games even. I felt like I was letting my teammates down, letting everyone down. I was dropped more games than I played and it, it just sucked. From there, it kind of clicked, like I might not get another contract. That off season, just went out, started running a lot more, started eating a lot better, and then came back in 2019 pre-season, all the girls were like, who is this? Hatchard everywhere this afternoon. She worked extremely hard, harder than I imagine a lot of people could, could do once she set her mind to it. And I think going into 2019, knowing that I'm fitter, I'm stronger, I can do more, it just gave me so much more confidence in my football. She's really showing the competition that you can't let her loose at a stoppage. Arguably the best player in the competition. She just really didn't give up once she started. And it was quite amazing. It seemed to be quite a short time between the old Anne and the new Anne as well. So the time has come. Will it be the pride of South Australia or the dark navy blues? Hatchard on the burst. Opening goal of the Crows. No, I still pinch myself. It's just such an amazing moment and probably one of the best moments in my life. The Adelaide Crows are AFLW Premiers for the second time in three years. There's little girls coming up, running up to you, saying that you're their favourite player and you just, looking back, I just never would have thought that I would ever be in this position now. So it's just crazy that I can even inspire young girls to watch footy or play footy or be involved in footy, however it is. I'm very proud of her for what she's achieved. It's amazing. Girls coming through football now, they can start at NAB AFL Auskick all the way through to AFLW. So it's really exciting to see where the next few years will lead. The talent coming through is crazy. It scares me a bit because I'm like, oh, they're going to come take my spot. But no, nah, it's awesome that they have the opportunity to go through these pathways now.